Hey everyone, my name is Jenna Redfield and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video I'm really excited about. Uh, first of all, I have a few announcements. Number one, we hit 500 followers in our Facebook community. So thank you so much for joining ADHD in Notion. And because of that, I got excited and I was like, you know what, we should start another group. I know that's another thing for me to take on, but this group is gonna be specifically about marketing in Notion because that is the other half of my life is helping people with marketing, specifically content marketing, social media, planning, and using Notion to actually plan their marketing. So today, or a couple days ago, I launched Marketing in Notion. We already have um, about 50 people in there. So make sure to join it in the link below. I also am consolidating my website back to just jennaredville.com so you can get all the links and stuff below um, for free Notion, free marketing, and free ADHD resources. So just wanted to announce that first. And then I wanted to let you guys know that we are gonna be making some changes to the channel. I am gonna be talking a little bit more about business and marketing when it comes to Notion as well. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe and make sure to uh, watch those videos. I'll still be talking about ADHD stuff. That's not going away, but I am going to be kind of covering a little bit more about marketing and business. So that's what today's video is about. So today I'm going to be talking about eight different things that you should be tracking in your business if you have one. Um, if you are running a business, maybe you work for a business, these are the things that you can use Notion for and what you should be tracking. So there are four things that you should be planning and tracking for planning, and then four things that are actually specifically that you're tracking after they have occurred. So I'm gonna head over to my computer. I'm gonna show you guys this slideshow that I made, and then we'll kind of walk in through Notion and show you guys how I've set it up for myself. I will say I am soon coming up with a content creation template, but it's gonna be a bit, and then I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos on content creation, because that is, to me, the best way to use Notion. It's the best content scheduler that I've seen, and I'm really excited to do some more follow-up videos on that. So my content creation template is coming at some point, and if, if this video you're watching is a couple months ago, it might be linked below. So let's get into this and I'll show you guys the eight different things you should be tracking and planning with Notion. Hey guys, so these are the eight different things that you should be planning and tracking. So there is four that are planning and four that are tracking. So we're gonna start with number one, which is goals and objectives. So what does that mean? So when you have a business, you're not only going to have a business plan, but you also are gonna have different things like KPIs, key performance indicators, um, OKRs, which is objects and key results, I think, objectives and key results, and then obviously SMART goals. So figuring out what your goals are for your business and figure out where you're heading is really important, and that is something that you can track inside of Notion. So. A lot of the times I think people skip this step in business and I have myself. So I think this is an important one to cover, which we will um, when we go through Notion. Okay, so the second thing that we are going to plan is action items. So this is really your to-do list, right? You've got your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually. What do you have to do on a daily basis, not just for business, but just for personal? And then also within Notion, linking that back to the projects, clients, and content calendar so that you know that your action items fit into one of those different categories. Then the third thing that you're gonna be planning with Notion and with your business is content marketing ideas and just planning your content. So what does this mean? Usually it's called an editorial calendar. This is the stuff that you're gonna be putting out to the world, whether that's videos, blogs, podcasts, social media posts, email marketing, whatever you're promoting and, and using as content, that needs to be planned out ahead of time so that you can do it um, and make sure that you have enough to target the things that you're trying to sell. And then the last thing that you're gonna be planning inside of Notion and inside of your business is projects. So what this means is these are client projects, events and workshops, course creation, coaching, product launches, offers, whatever it is you do, the project is what you're working on mostly on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are the things that you and your business are actually doing. And this could even just be a client session or whatever you are doing. All right, so now we're going in the second half. So number five, which is the first one of tracking, is your CRM. So you need to be tracking your clients, your leads, the pipelines, where people are at, their contact information, where they are in your, again, pipeline of figuring out, okay, 
even if you have an e-commerce site, you know, if somebody bought something, where is that person being stored? Now I will say a lot of these, you may need a separate uh, software as well, but I like to have Notion as a secondary CRM to manage all of this as well, just so I have like a backup. I use something called FG Funnels to manage a lot of this as well. Finances, sales, and expenses. Again, similar to this, it might be a little bit easier to manage some of this in something like a QuickBooks, but it is something that you could start to do maybe your expenses inside of Notion. So whether that's sales, income, expenses, um, things that you need for taxes, um, any of your documents, your LLC, any of the stuff that really has to do with your business, or maybe if you have employees or do stuff with HR, all this could be handled in sort of a private Notion board. So I've seen different businesses do this different ways. Again, you may wanna have a general software and not put all of your money information inside of Notion because again, the security is not the best, but it's helpful for certain things if you wanna start tracking them. All right, so number seven is what you're consuming. So if you're in business, one of the things that's really cool is you can actually start to better yourself and grow and learn more about uh, whatever you're doing. So whether that's through online courses, videos, books, podcasts that you listen to, to improve your business, you can track this as well inside of Notion. I think this is actually one of the best ways, information management of figuring out how to actually start, you know, consuming, but also remembering all the things that you learn. This is a great place to track that. And then the last one is analytics. So there are a lot of ways to track analytics. Um, you may need to use websites like Google Analytics, which you can actually embed in Notion. Uh, I might do a whole video on that because people have asked for that. But all of the social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, t TikTok, YouTube, they all have their own analytics. So you could put some of the information you get from some of those inside of Notion to start tracking, seeing how many clicks are you getting to your website? How many views are you getting on a YouTube video? Um, also with, you know, if you send out an email, are you tracking the open rates? Which uh, headline works better than others? Maybe you're doing Facebook ads, which ones are converting? Uh, conversion rates. So tracking the analytics beyond um, just the websites that they basically give you the information, this is another place that you can store that information to have it all in one spot. Good news, Notion can help with all these things. So I'm gonna walk through quickly um, kind of how it looks for me for tracking these things. Um, I don't, again, have all of this set up completely. I'm working on a lot of it, um, but a lot of them are interlinked and I wanna show you quickly kind of how I do this with my own Notion. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is have my goal outcomes, right? So these are things that I want to have happen um, in the future. Um, you can add things like dates and such. I got this idea of the goal outcomes from August Bradley. So go watch his video on goal setting because they're really good. But this is a, a board that I have that literally just links back to specifically what I'm trying to accomplish. And this can link to my projects, right? My projects and my to-do list, as well as my content calendar. Again, they all come back to what are your goals? So that is one of the boards that I have for tracking all the things that I want to accomplish. So inside of my to-do list, which is actually part of my life tracker system, I have my to-do list, which I can organize in multiple ways. I can organize it by topic, by date. Um, I have it by status. I have a bunch of different timeline views, and these are all organized by things that I want to do, and they're literally just all of my to-do list. And I have this also as a linked database inside of some other things to show specifically by date. Um, so I like to do things by date as well and then move them as a Kanban board. So in addition to having marketing goals set up as well, um, I also have my content pipeline, which um, you know shows both past and present. I have different things, um, whether or not I've archived something. Um, this is also part of tracking as well, but I can put the next action calendar. Um, so I have like things that are coming up, etc. This video that I'm filming right now, I didn't get done in time, so I'm moving that to this day. Um, and that is something that you can see. I've started working on a bunch of different things. I have been not working on content, obviously, the last few days. Um, but this is how I track my content is I use it as a calendar. Um, and you can group by so many different things. I'm going to do a whole video on this. And I've changed it a bunch over the time that I've had my Notion. And I will be doing more content on my, the changes I've been making. But you can see within it can uh, link to different campaigns that you're doing. So if there's a specific content campaign, specific keyword, 
um, different apps that you use, um, as well as the goal outcomes. So for this video, I want YouTube, grow YouTube channel. That's the goal outcome of making content, right? So I want people to watch more videos. So by making a video, that is my goal outcome is to grow my YouTube channel. So my business project database is specifically projects that I have um, that are ongoing, things that I can be for both business and personal, um, but as example therapy, something I've been going to every week. Um, so that to me is a project. It's something that maybe I have homework for or things I have to do. And you can see I also have tasks affiliated and you can see once I check off a task in my to-do list, it will say that there's pending tasks, right? So that is a cool um, thing. I don't remember where I got this one, um, but it's part of something and there's a really cool, uh, what's it called? Um, formula that I have found within the business projects database. I believe this was from, um, I will link, I'm pretty sure this is from the business OS that I got and I'll link that below um, this, this specific one. So I use my CRM in two different ways. I have the company's accounts and brands, and then I link them over to the individual people. So if I wanted to, I could make this an entire CRM, or I could go in and add the same information to the person and use that as well. So there's two different ways that I do things for this. So if I were to go into a person, click on the name, you'll see that this is actually in my contacts, and then I have the same thing over in contacts, people waiting on me, et cetera. So I got this finance and budgeting template. I will find it below and link it. I believe this was free, but I have used this now to start working on my taxes. So I have my expenses and my income. I actually imported them from PayPal and my bank account, um, as well as some other things. And you know, you can create categories, different accounts. So for me, like I have a business, I'm not gonna show you any of this. My business bank account um, has a number on it. So that is now listed in accounts. You can also see like income last week, expenses last week. So you can filter it by specifically a time period. So I also have a product shopping list. I will show you this. These are things that I'm like planning to buy from Amazon and I just have them listed here. Um, so that's just something that I list there as well for, I guess for budgeting is things that are on my shopping list. This is not food. So I do have a grocery list, which is separate. This is just for money and finance. This is a really great way to track, especially for taxes. Okay, so for um, specifically maybe courses that I've taken, one of the things that I use Notion for is I put them all in the brain. So within the brain, I've talked about this one before, I have books I've read, books I'm reading, movies I've watched, podcasts I've listened to. But what's cool is if I take like an online course, for example, I've taken a bunch of courses from uh, Funnel Gorgeous, like I can go in and like for each chapter, I actually have the PDF document that uh, that they had for that. So if I needed to quickly find something, um, it's a way for me to save all of my information from the courses that I've purchased or taken. Um, I have so many different PDFs from different things. Um, and so it's really helpful for me to be able to quickly find something um, that I'm learning. So that's a great way to use um, the brain uh, board that I have. So I mentioned that so I mentioned that one of the things that I like to look at is analytics. So one of the things I've been able to do is embed uh, Google Data Studio inside of uh, Notion. I got this from a different template, but there's ways to do it as well. So that's something that is really cool is you can look at your stats um, on whatever, whether that's Google Analytics, YouTube. Um, I'm gonna find other ways to maybe find like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram Analytics. It'd be really cool if I could embed those. I know that there are softwares out there that you could do that with, but I haven't found them myself, so I'll look into that for next time. Uh, but yeah, so that's the last thing is analytics, checking your Google Analytics, checking your software um, to see you know how many clicks are things getting, and then what you can do. So one of the things I've done, if I go back to my content um, pipeline, I'll show you guys one of the properties that I've started putting on is how many views it's getting. And obviously these are outdated, but like some of my older videos, I got, you know, between three and 5,000, between 200 and 500. So it's like, you can literally see specifically the videos that I've put up, which ones have been doing best. And you could actually sort it um, and filter it or group it by uh, the numbers that you get. So that's something that's interesting. Um, let's see if I go to, so I can see which ones got zero to a hundred and then which ones obviously did really well. Um, so that's something you can sort them by two by numbers. So I try to do general numbers, not specifics because it's easier to sort that way. 
Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you guys and make sure to subscribe for more.